Hi, and thank you for tuning in. My name is Amanda Wilson, and I am one of the founders and managing directors of Atta Wines, importers of wines from Central Europe. And we are here today talking about wines of Moravia and why you should check them out. So first off, let me just kind of address what many of you may be thinking, is that Czechs make beer and not wine. And really, if you have the chance and get to travel to Prague, or anywhere in Czech Republic, but Prague and the Old Town Square, and you walk around, you'll actually notice a lot of the people drinking wine, uh, especially a lot of the locals drinking wine. And uh, what happened to us is we were traveling over there, we thought we were gonna be drinking beer, and we noticed a lot of the um, wine drinkers around us, and so we decided to try one of the wines in the menu, and of course I couldn't read a lick of Czech, and so I asked the lovely wait staff there, and they uh, recommended a white wine for me, had a, had a glass, had a sip, had a glass, and uh, very quickly realized that the wines um, didn't suck and uh, were quite good, actually. And so we continued to drink uh, the wines that were available around the restaurants in the Old Town Square. And uh, lo and behold, we learned that Moravia, Czech Republic, is the wine region that um, produces most of those wines. And it happened to be right between Prague and Vienna, which is where we were driving to next after our uh, stop in Vienna. So not only do Czechs make wine, they make brilliant wine, and they've been doing so for quite some time. So the first plantings actually can date back to the second century, um, and you'll find stories of emperors who planted grapes and um, created wine as gifts for other royals and celebrations and sacrifices. Um, but as an industry, they've been around since about the 13th century. And it was really with the help of the monasteries and their large vineyard areas um, and their importing of the grapes from France, France and Germany that really kind of started the industry back in the 13th, uh, 13th century. So um, in 1309, what, uh, what happened was viticultural and winemaking regulations were actually established. And the vine vineyards around Mikulov and Baltica, which you're seeing here, um, were documented to become the oldest preserves registered in the Liechtenstein vineyards. The images you're seeing right now are of Baltica, which is where the chateau uh, that you're seeing in that upper right-hand corner houses the National Wine Salon. And you'll see on the left the old wine cellars that have been repurposed to showcase the wines of the region. And you can walk through self-paced and taste and learn about the wines of the region, which is a great way to get educated about Moravia and um, Czech wines. Uh, they also have a lot of history, obviously, so in some of those other uh, photos that you see, um, you can uh, stop in a couple of the different wine shops and, and tasting bars and really just learn more about the wines of the region and the history um, in this place that is um, just threaded with it. Um, and it is a World UNESCO Heritage, Heritage Site, um, so, um, so it's a really just fascinating area to visit if you have a chance to go there. And similar to many European regions, um, the borders were kind of fluid, especially during the 17th um, through 20th centuries, right? So they saw, you know, destructions and replantings and really the ever-shifting borders and rulers that influenced the area um, within the Moravian region. Um, but however, due to the political development of the Second World War, um, the Czech wine industry became literally physically and politically isolated for several decades um, from the global wine industry. But the last 20 years has seen a dramatic change. Um, Czech winemaking culture has not only sustained through that time period, but really advanced, making Moravia one of the most elusive and interesting wine regions that you, that you really read about today. So with that, let me give you a couple of facts about the great wine region of Moravia. Moravia is producing 90 to 96 percent of the country's wine. So in Czech Republic, there are two wine, country, uh, wine regions. Uh, Moravia, which uh, you'll see is in the southern part, and around Prague in the north, north central area of the country, uh, there is the region called Bohemia. Uh, Bohemia only makes about five percent of the country's wine. Most of it is produced in Moravia. So if someone talks to you about a Czech wine, uh, you're likely talking about a Moravian wine. It is a cool growing area with a continental climate. Um, so the wines are traditionally categorized as light to medium bodied. Um, they produce predominantly white, aromatic whites, uh, excuse me, wines. And they have a fairly pronounced level of acidity. So they have this 
um, refreshness to them that um, is really pervasive throughout the wines. Size-wise, there's about 44,000 acres, uh, so 19,000 hectares of vineyards. And you'll see on the right, I put in some comparisons where Alsace is just under 40,000 and Bordeaux is 275,000. So to put it in perspective um, of where it compares, it's um, very similar to, uh, to Alsace um, in terms of size. There's around 850 to 900 registered winemakers and very little of their wine is actually exported. Um, Czechs actually consume more than they produce and when we first started importing we actually would approach winemakers where uh, a few of them would just uh, decline on having their wines exported because they were selling everything they needed to sell out of you know their barns and their um, vineyards and their uh, and their and their wineries um, so it's really interesting that uh, you don't see very much outside of Czech Republic and definitely not outside Europe and so we're very excited to be able to have these in the United States and share them with you today. So just some imagery to help you kind of get a feel for the place. Um, it's really almost this fairy tale land, right? Um, there's these Gothic cathedrals and spires with these small villages all um, uh, dotting throughout the countryside. Uh, you see up in the upper left, there's the traditional um, wine cellars from uh, that has been uh, brought down from family to family and generation to generation that are being um, not only used for storage in some cases but a lot of them are being reused in, in various ways like tasting rooms and other things that draw um, uh, some tourism to the area so that people can kind of experience the old world style wines that they have and then you can see below the vineyards are um, all on you know some gentle slopes uh, there's water in the area um, they have different exposures so there's really a varied uh, landscape to the region that allows for some um, brilliant wine to be produced. And so where is this magical land? Um, on the left hand side you can see Czech Republic directly in the center of Europe there. Um, and they are on the 49th parallel. And Moravia is the southern part that borders Austria. You can see on the right hand side Moravia is um, is the southern, southern east side of Czech Republic and it borders Austria on its southern side. And you can see on the left how that 49th parallel goes through not only Germany, um, but the top of Alsace region, excuse me, on, on top of the Alsace region in France as well. Um, so you can see how there could be some similarities in style um, just in terms of geography. So hopefully that helps to give you a little bit of an idea about Moravia Czech Republic and the style and um, uh, the style and, and type of the wines that they produce. Uh, we really appreciate your interest in the wines of the region um, and Czech wines in general. And if you have questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, we love to chat about it, as you can tell. I could probably talk for a much longer time than this, but uh, reach out if you have any questions at info at autelwines.com. And if you go to autelwines.com, you can um, sign up for our blog and get notified when we have new updates or new wines available and any ed educational materials about wines of the Czech Republic or um, any of the producers that we, uh, that we represent. So with that, I will um, sign off. And as they say in Czech Republic, uh, cheers or uh, na zdrowie.